Good morning. This is Bob Barker, your RV guy extraordinaire. Don't seem to have any RVs this week. My RV is in the shop for some warranty work. Kind of lacking on stuff to make videos about, so I thought I'd share with you a an item that you've seen in some of my Challenger X videos. I know you've seen it in some of my scooter videos. It's more than just a little trailer though. I did a quite a bit with this thing and I thought I'd show you. I might have put a little thought into it. First off, what was really important to me was being able to store and transport. So when the idea first occurred to me, I thought, you know, uh, I could get one of those little folding wagon things and uh, it would store pretty good but what I didn't like about it was uh, the weight capacity at the time I was building this I had an inflatable boat that I was wanting to move from the RV down to the water's edge uh, that included a 60 pound 12 volt battery a trolling motor and all of that stuff though so, well you know I just need to build myself some type of transport and anyway when I was going fishing without the boat getting all my gear down to the lakeside you know a lawn chair tackle box cold beer and fishing rods I'd make multiple trips or get somebody to help me uh, well I'll just build myself a, a little wagon and I got to thinking well why just build a wagon why not build something that serves multiple needs, fills multiple needs? So I went and bought a little two-seater children's bicycle trailer. It has the removable wheels. And I cut it apart and I put it all back together. Here's what I ended up with. As you can see the framework. I basically just chopped and channeled it and then I had to make handles. So the wheels just fit right in there like that. So I got all these multiple cameras going here and this is the first time I've done something like this. So y'all bear with me. So we put the pin in, but this actually fits inside the dinette seat on the RV. So, we got our wheels in place. So depending on what function I'm looking for, I've got different attachments that will go here. I think I'm at the wrong angle with the other two cameras there. So let me turn that around so the other two cameras can see what I've just done. All right, so if I want to just uh, run over to the campsite next door uh, gravity you tell I'm on the driveway and it's not level or I want to take go down on a fishing pier or walk down to the side of the lake with my camping gear or my fishing gear I just it's easier when I don't have to worry about the cameras and I put a little kickstand on there of course that that's not too great but it you know it fills the need so I end up with a two-wheel cart with a handle now because my hands sometimes don't work right they will just let go I put a strap on there so I can just walk along and like that now the original bicycle carrier had some little narrow wheels and as I was looking for a different part for something else I found a kid's bike that had these big fat red rims on them and I got a, a buddy who's 
his son does BMX and they re-spoked those rims to fit this to fit the hubs so I ended up with the wider wheel so it doesn't sink down in the sand now if I'm running around campground collecting abandoned firewood we're giving the dog a ride or people a ride and put my tow bar on oh it works great if I gotta haul a bag of trash down to the dumpster or hauling fishing gear because you know I like to sit by the water and catch a few little fish turns into a trailer that will connect to the scooter I had to build a hitch for the for the challenger because it does not come with one but as you can see I just slipped a uh, fitting over the seat post and then welded a little uh, put together a little clevis hitch and I end up with the little red trailer now the third setup for this is the wagon assembly we take the tow bar off got to do something about that little kickstand when I put this part on it's a little bit heavy I don't use this anymore because I got rid of the inflatable boat if you watch some of my other videos you've seen that I actually built a real boat and this wouldn't work with the real boat let's turn it sideways Takes a little planning to put it together. There we go. It was a fun build. But it ended up being way heavier than is practical for the RV lifestyle. There you have it. It's a little three-wheel wagon. I mostly just use it as a two-wheel cart or the trailer for the Challenger. But the front wheel assembly is actually the front of a kid's bicycle. I took the handlebars off, put together the, I guess you could call it tow bar part of it. That also breaks down. And then the handle is made out of conduit and steel. So it's, it's heavy. Uh, I mean, it's really heavy for what it is but anyway that's the that's the wagon that you see in the challenger videos it's also a trailer and a two-wheel cart all right we're gonna go for a little scooter ride give you a couple of different perspectives one from the trailer and two as I drive by.
Now you can look at my butt. That's the dog's perspective. Now we're going to give you one from the other direction. I need to come up with a little better rear facing camera mount. Did you get the idea? Alright. I don't even know if we can see that trailer, but I'll find out. I've hauled an adult sitting in the trailer. Uh, lots of firewood. All my fishing gear. Right, I'm very pleased with the way it's turned out. Uh, I have used it on multiple occasions. Uh, and best of all, the three-legged dog thinks it's the coolest thing to be able to ride in that trailer around the campground. I'll have to get y'all some video footage of that. I got some cool ideas now that I have the GoPro. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more from Bob Barker, the RV guy extraordinaire. I'm out.